if all these uh, open panels are a bit of distraction to what you're doing, you have a number of options for you. You can hit this small cog uh, icon and you'll see that now you only have only the writing space and you can go on to add on more content and you can type away and paste and do everything. If you, um, if you are a minimalist, this would be ideal for you so that when you're ready to deal with your content, you just hit this, come to the document and update or publish the post that you do have. So the other part that could help you reduce this but also keep this tag is by hitting these three navigation buttons. So what it does is that um, you have what we call spotlight mode, which will only highlight whatever is active in your content, whatever you're working with. The others immediately uh, go out of focus for you. So if you don't choose a spotlight mode, you can use the full screen mode which takes everything else away and allows you to only have only this part. And you can use them even in combination. When, when you go and, and say, uh, I don't want any of those modes, and maybe I want to use the toolbar, you realize that initially we had our toolbar up here. We, had, we could change paragraph, we could make this bold, uh, but now everything has gone up here in the top toolbar. So for every other block that we shall come up with, let's say if we want to use an image, uh, uh, an image, you will see that all the options that we do have are actually up here. So that's also another tool to make everything cleaner. So if you actually use all these, you'll see that you'll have a much cleaner interface for yourself. Now, for people who are coders and you like to look into your code, what's going on behind here, the option you have is actually to use the code editor and you move away from the visual. So you're able to see what's going on here. You have your paragraphs coming in and they're all there. Now you note that this is wrapped under HTML co uh, comments. All your content is wrapped under WordPress defined HTML comments. So that's what the code editor offers for us. Now, of course, you can see that the way the new editor has been placed is that it's quite intuitive. So it has little markings here for you to tell you for which parts you actually are looking for. So there's a one part called the block manager. And what it does is that we have so many uh, core, um, um, we have so many core, we have so many core blocks and other blocks that come in by other plugins like WooCommerce introduces its own blocks in here and you can see them listed. But if you don't want to have these options always are bombarding you as the user, considering what you use for most of your use cases, you can actually tick off some of these. As you're looking for them, they will actually not be available uh, because you've uh, deactivated them. So for example, I'm going to look for the table block in my con in, in to write and I'll fail to find it. So you'll see that we no longer have the table available for us in here. But if we go back to our block manager and then uh, turn on the table and pull quote, let's say, if we go back in here and start typing for the table, we'll actually find that we have the table and we can use the, uh, we can create a table and use it. So we can see that using the block manager is actually a lifesaver. You can choose to take out a whole category of blocks or add them or just take out a few and it removes that overwhelming feeling you have that. You have so many options, you have so many things that uh, will really kill you. And if you're a developer, you could reduce some of these so that your clients are not overwhelmed um, by the number of blocks that are available for them to use. So you could space out and just put what they really need to have and that will get them on their way. Um, most of those that you would probably turn off are the ones that are with embeds and uh, widgets, uh, depending on your use case, I won't limit you to that. So uh, we just have a few more uh, just to see here. We talked about the keyboard shortcuts and then you can also copy all the content that you do have here and then you can open up a new post and when you open a new post, you're able to actually just paste that by using a control V, which is paste uh, or you can actually just do the paste normally. 
as you would. So you have the same content from the other side and you have it here. The last option we have is the options um, option or panel. And what it does is that it helps us to reduce some of the options that are available. For example, I can remove the permalinks panel because I already have it with the title. I can remove categories if I don't use them. I can use the, remove the tags. I can remove the excerpt, discussions, page attributes if I don't want people to change the templates. I want them to stay as is. And then if I close this out and come back here, you'll see we only have only featured image. All the categories, the tags, the excerpt, all that information is taken away. But I can quickly revert and say maybe now I need these other three options. So if we come back, we actually see that these are available. And this allows us to have a cleaner, a more minimalistic um, feel as we use our editor. Uh, so try it out. Uh, let me know what you think. In the comment section, just let me know how you found this video helpful. Has it helped you to uh, better manage your real estate in, a, in Gutenberg editor? And are you doing better? Thank you for watching and enjoy your blogging or publishing.